Well, this Wednesday marks one year to the day since the arrest of Masa Amini in Iran. She was detained by the country's morality police for allegedly wearing her head covering incorrectly. Three days later, she died in a hospital in Tehran. Eyewitnesses say she'd been brutally beaten and her death sparked protests across the country. Earlier today, we spoke to our correspondent, Reza Saya, in Tehran. We asked him if things in Iran had changed when you're on. Things have changed. If things have changed, depends on whom you ask. Uh, critics of the government will tell you nothing has changed. They'll tell you that this country is still being run by an oppressive uh, government that's out of touch with its people, a government that stifles social freedoms, uh, stifles progress. Uh, uh, the mandatory hijab law is still in place. The morality police is still in place. Of course, it was the morality police that one year ago to this day arrested 22-year-old Massa. I mean, she died uh, in their custody, and that sparked uh, a women-led protest and unrest throughout the country that made headlines uh, worldwide. So the critics of the government will tell you nothing has changed. There's some people will tell you there have been small changes, most notably, especially here in the capital, Tehran. If you go to certain neighborhoods, you see more and more women coming out in public without wearing the hijab, the mandatory Islamic uh, headdress. And they seem to be doing it uh, freely and comfortably. There's been a lot of reports and certainly a lot of rumors uh, that the government uh, has cracked down uh, using smart cameras, surveillance cameras to detect uh, uh, who's wearing, who's not wearing their hijab and finding them and pounding their car. Uh, but it's not clear if that crackdown has happened. And even if it has happened, it certainly doesn't seem to be dissuading uh, many women com coming out uh, without uh, the hijab. Even so, those women will tell you that's not the progress uh, they're, they're looking for. The progress many will tell you they're looking for is a better economy, better jobs, better lives, the opportunity to save some money, to have a better future. They'll tell you even uh, with the protests last year being anti-hijab demonstrations, their real demand was a better economy. That hasn't been delivered yet, and that's why all eyes are the government, pressure on the government uh, to deliver on a better economy, because that unrest, that frustration, that discontent uh, that sparked those protests last year uh, still remains and still brewing. And if there's another incident similar to Massa Amini, certainly it could set off another round of protests.